Hey, hello everyone, welcome back. So in our today's tutorial, we are going to see how to create a pattern lock in Android. So as you can see, this is our same demo application which we are going to create today. And if you see here, you are having the pattern lock thing, same like as any mobile phone has. So this type of pattern lock we are going to create in our today's tutorial. So without wasting much time, let's start our video. Uh, to create this type of pattern lock, uh, we need to use some third party libraries. So just go to Chrome and search for pattern lock view, which is created by Arbitrary. Right? So it has 2.6k stars, which is pretty good. So most of many people are uh, outside developers use, are using this library to create this type of pattern lock. So if you see here, uh, we are going to create this pattern lock, and uh, you can uh, customize this pattern lock as per your wish. If you see here, uh, if you come a little bit down, you can uh, customize the whole pattern lock, each and everything. Even these dots where that we are having, we can, uh, these dots we are having, we can also customize this. We can change its shape. We can also change its size. Also, this this line we are having here, we can also change its width and color and whatever we want. So if you see here, we are having the dot count, how many dots you want in single line, the size of the dots, the selected dots, size and color and width of the line and aspect ratio and normal state and what will be the selected state, wrong state and what the what animation you need to give to dots when it is selected. So there are uh, many more things that you are having here. You can also control the speed of the selection. So in this way you can customize each and everything and all uh, and yeah, this here's the proper documentation how you how to use this. So let's see uh, just head back to Android Studio and you need to create a dummy project here. So if you see here I'm having this project which I am created and you just need to copy this libraries from here and just go to uh, build.vrl file. So you just need to open this library in open this file and to And paste it here and once your uh, libraries has been pasted you to uh, sync your project and once it has been synced successfully uh, your project will be ready to implement these libraries so let's go back to our library and to in implement this pattern log you need to uh, put this in your XML code so just copy it and go to your main activity dot XML file uh, which I'll get uh, you can you will get from here this one is activity underscore main dot xml and you need to put that uh, pattern view here so if you see here i have designed this layout here i'm having the image and here i'm having a text welcome text and at the center i'm having the pattern lock view uh, the which i had copied from here i had also set my custom properties some of them here like aspect ratio what will be the ratio of uh, this uh, pattern view i had given it as square you can give it a circle or triangle whatever you want the dots count i had given it like three in a single line so it's like it's it, it's the three in a single line like this right so you can put as many counts you want here and uh, the animation of duration of selection of the dots like 100 you can make it more faster like changing this value and gravity okay so in this way you can customize this pattern block once it has been done you just need to configure it from your main activity so just declare it from here and initialize it in your uh, on create method and from here using java you can set all the properties to it uh, this project uh, you can get this project from the uh, this link which i'll give you in description you can just download this code from here right so you can set the properties here and after that uh, to uh, to get uh, whether the password has been entered or not to uh, to detect the state of your uh, pattern lock you can use this pattern changes uh, you need to pass the object of your pattern lock dot pattern changes and to pass the variable that we uh, mentioned about created about dot subscribe and from here you can get the uh, if user has entered the password or not uh, each and every state like started and ended all and everything so uh, and you can also perform any operation if you want if condition satisfy you can call the method you want to write so in this way we can create this type of pattern lock uh, hope you like this tutorial and thanks for watching